And what I was sort of stumbling over explaining here was essentially with these two, what it's doing is it's going to grab whichever string is greater in length is the one that's going to be captured as the text width. Um, so if the focus screens list is greater than the list of screens, then it's going to grab one or, you know, that one over that one. And then it will set it to the text width. So no matter what these are, it's always going to have a text width. This background size is always going to be, you know, wide enough or tall enough to accommodate that text <clears throat> as it changes. So uh, finally, what we need to do is add in a drawing sub. So we will do public overrides to override the draw sub of the base class. <clears throat> sub draw. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and leave that my base dot draw in there. And we'll say if globals, here we're going to create another timer like we did before because um, we want this uh, to be drawing the updated values here uh, for our frames per second. Uh, we're going to say if globals dot game time dot total game time dot total milliseconds is greater than FPS timer then FPS equals FPS counter okay next up we're going to say we're going to set the FPS counter, I'm sorry, the FPS timer equals the updated game time. So we're going to say globals dot game time dot total game time dot total milliseconds plus 1000. So it's a second, it's no longer a millisecond. And then we will say FPS counter equals one. <clears throat> so, excuse me, we will next say FPS text equals FPS. We're gonna start creating this string here and the FPS value. Otherwise, we are going to increment the FPS counter by one, okay? So we're going to capture this FPS to here, uh, to the FPS text, and reset the counter to one. Otherwise, we're going to keep growing that counter. <clears throat> so we'll be able to see our frames per second. Now we need to actually draw all this, so we're going to, as you recall, um, start our sprite batch drawing. So we'll say globals dot sprite batch dot draw. I'm sorry, not draw. <laughs> Remember, we got to begin it and end it, so uh, we'll do that. And I'll say globals dot sprite batch dot end. All right. And then we will do our drawing in the middle. Um, so we will start with globals dot sprite batch dot draw. And again, our uh, texture of Rad Marvin is all we have here. So what I'm going to do is um, draw that texture. So I'm going to reference our textures global class. Um, and as we see, our red avatar is still there. And we will draw this texture to the background rectangle, BG rect. Dot, okay, not dot, uh, comma. And then we have to select a color. We're not actually going to use uh, the source rectangle. We just have to reference an image in our um, 
drawing. And that could really be anything. We could have grabbed a pixel uh, like we did for the test screen. But in this case, I'm just going to draw a black rectangle uh, for our debug screen. So we're not going to use a, a source uh, rectangle. Um, so let's just give it a color, dot black. And to kind of, kind of, um, you know, I told you before that we can also apply alpha values to this to um, create a transparency effect. So let's just go ahead and multiply that in. What we're going to do is say color black times um, 0 0.6f. So that's going to be a um, basically a single value. There you go. <clears throat> Represents a single precision floating point number. And what this actually is, is going to give us basically a 60% uh, opacity or, you know, basically we're going to have a black rectangle with a slightly transparent um, background there. Hope that made sense. <laughs> slightly transparent black rectangle. That's what I meant to say. So next up we're going to we are going to um, draw some strings. So we're going to again call in our sprite sprite batch draw string and I will do reference my fonts dot um, Arial 8 and the text that I want to draw here is going to be our FPS text that we formatted above. And I want to draw this to a new vector 2. And I'm going to, do, to go out uh, 10 pixels into our black rectangle. Uh, 10 pixels out and 10 pixels down. And I'm going to draw that in a white color. Hopefully the repetition of some of this will uh, help you remember all of these uh, drawing routines. <clears throat> After a while it'll, it'll start to sink in and make sense here. Took me a while. <laughs> Alright, so again I'm going to reference my fonts, uh, Arial 8, and this time I will be drawing the screen's uh, string that we captured up above and again did all that formatting too in the updates. And this will be drawn to a new vector as well. We don't want it to draw over the top of our other string. So we're going to set this one 10 pixels in and 22 pixels down. And let's go ahead and give that a color of white as well. And finally, I'm just going to copy and paste this because I'm tired of typing it all out. Um, we're not going to draw screens, we're going to draw the focus screen. And for the vector, we will draw that at 34 down. All right, so our debug screen should be pretty well set up at this point. 